Well, welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. I'm Viola Lavi. Good morning. Welcome back. I'm Veronica Odeka. The Buhari administration says that job creation is one of the pillars of the economic recovery plan. The government has continued to release figures to back what it claims to be the rewards of its efforts to provide a means of livelihood to the greatest number of Nigerians of working age. But economic analysts are saying there is a yawning gap in the critical relationship between the government and the private sector in the area of job creation. That void is what entrepreneurs like Kelechi Ogene has been trying to fill. She is the president of the GMAT Fashion Academy, as well as the GMAT Foundation, a private initiative which has been empowering aspiring hundreds of young women in the fashion industry. She has now joined us to look at how far she has gone with this project and how much impact it has made in the lives of its target audience. Good morning and welcome back to the program. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. So just for people that didn't see you last time, just give people a refresher of what you what GMIT does. Okay, so GMIT Fashion Academy is um, creating the next generation of fashion entrepreneurs through fashion. And by the grace of God, we've been able to train over 500 women um, and young men that have started their own businesses today. And we currently have some students in business. So um, because of the entrepreneur sessions that we usually have for them, you know, teaching them, um, taking them on sessions like customer service, marketing, branding, management, like we did one yesterday as well. You know, they've been able to um, start and manage their business. And then um, we also have um, GMIT Foundation. So that's um, an initiative that has been sponsored by the GMIT Fashion Academy, um, where we take in students and um, train them for free because they cannot afford the school fees. Mm -hmm. And we also have, you know, like a lot of them that have also started their own businesses. And then we started, oh, and then we did, we We've done a lot of projects, okay, they've done, like, just to see now, they've done um, avant-garde um, project, they've done um, a weather project, they've done, they've done a lot of projects, nightwear, lingerie, you know, they, we, they do, like, a whole lot of projects, hot couture projects, you know, so we're not just teaching them to be basic, but to become designers, and at the end of the day, when they start their business, they can carve a niche for themselves and then define their strength, you know, to say, okay, either I want to go into production, or I want to go into ready-to-wear, or I want, I want to go into hot couture, or, you know, I want to own a fashion academy as well, like some of the alumni, you know, that have graduated from the school, about four of them own their own fashion schools, they, you know, and then uh, I think two of them has, have also um, graduated some students. I call them my grand students. You know, so, um, so the network yeah, is building. Is it's 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 just amazing. So um, we started a project this year. I think in February when I came, I said we're, we're starting a new project to train 500 women for free this year because um, over the years we've done um, over 200 um, yeah. women. So um, now we started training them, and like I said, they've done some projects as well. You know, like their jumpsuits and all that. Um, um, also, we also have like um, a new. Um, initiative also that has been bettered by the foundation where, and that's GMIT SME support scheme, where we support entrepreneurs that have started their businesses, but you know, are struggling with uh, probably maybe finance and all that. So we give them um, about 100,000 every month. Now that was the idea, but so far uh, we've given close to a million. So instead of giving maybe like 400,000, which is because this is April, you know, we've given um, in February, I think we did 590 in March, we did um, 300 just yesterday. So it's once every month, last Friday of every month, you know, they come, they apply, we don't know them. So we put up the advert and then people just apply, you know, they come make a pitch and then the winner goes on with an award and also the money, you know, to support their business. So you have to tell us what 100,000 Naira will do for your business. And yesterday we gave what out What does 100,000 Naira do for business? Ah, a lot. 100,000 can actually do a lot. Like um, one was saying um, yesterday when she was making her pitch, she actually broke down. You know, she said she's a shoemaker. She's been um, um, supplying to her clients, but then she's filing the shoes with her hand, you know, and it's so, it's quite intense and it's giving her issues. So she needed to buy, I think it's a Kumbo, um, filer, um, the machine, I think. Yeah. So she gave like breakdown of um, 25,000 for the machine. She said, um, she also said, you know, like some things. I don't know anything mm -hmm. about shoes now, so, but she said. But then she, I mean, yeah, but for for a hundred thousand, she could take her business from where to, to where to to the next level. Actually, she can buy some materials as well. Mm -hmm. So from know. a starting point, yeah, from starting, to... she's 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 started already. Like, yeah. like they said, you know, they've started already. Mm -hmm. They've been supplying people, but it will just make their job easier. So let me tell you, like another one said, you know, she has um, um, a butterfly machine. Mm -hmm. I think there's about eight something, but now she needs an industrial machine with about seven something thousand. You know, so that she can start. Mm -hmm. 
producing, mm -hmm. you know, like more, and then it makes her job easier and faster as well. So you, you, when you hear them make this speech, you would you would know that hundred thousand. And these wow. these these yeah. grants and the, these funds are no, it's just it's free. It's not loan. It's yes. just to support okay. So them. these funds that are provided to them yes. are through the foundation. Yes. True. And how do you determine how many people will receive the funds every month, and do they have to come with a business plan? Yes. They they. Um, so they do like a video, okay, mm -hmm. and then they they tell you what hundred thousand naira. Tell us rather what hundred thousand naira will do for their business, and then they put it online. So um, and then we call them. So we should list them, and then we call them um, the last Friday of every month, you know, to come make a pitch. So we have like judges that we invite after the entrepreneur session, you know, with the whole student. Mm -hmm. Then they make the pitch and say, okay, this is what hundred thousand naira will do for my business and all that. And then the winner gets the hundred thousand. So here's another question. Mm -hmm. I'm just a bit curious because okay. people, uh, viewers, are probably watching it. I mean, I know how many. DMs I get in my inbox with people saying, oh, do you train? Do you have a fashion school? Hmm. Are there requirements? Do you have to have been in business for such a period of time? Minimum one year. Okay, minimum one year. To get this fund, yes. In business. And then year. what do they have to bring proof after, you know, of how the 100,000 has been used or what, what, how it has helped yeah, their so business? Yeah, so this is a program we're watching. This is an initiative that we started in January. Mm -hmm. You know, when I came in February, sure, I just sure, said sure. I just started it. Sure. Yeah. So we're watching to see if they're actually, you know, going to do what they say they'll do, you know, with the money. But yes, they come with some documents, like you, you should have a business name. You know, most of them came with documents. Really sure, and then yeah. those that, you know, um, didn't have their business registered were, um, of course, we asked them to back down. But there are two of them that we decided to let, you know, contest yesterday because when we checked their business page on Instagram, you know, they had like loads of pictures, you know, that they were already, Fine. you know, yes, yeah, making effort. Uh, yes, making effort. So instead of to discourage them, we're just trying to encourage them, mm. you know. Yeah. So with the when the people receive the hundred thousand yes. naira, what is your hope for that money? Is it that you're hoping that they go and I, I mean, you hope they donate more back to you so you can do more of these trainings, you hope they train. What do you want to see happen to them and how does this tie into job creation? Um, so now, first is more of the foundation, which is, you know, training these women through fashion to start their own business. Mm -hmm. So first, I'm not just giving you the money, I'm teaching you the skill. So that because if I give you even five million naira without skill, you will just vandalize it mm -hmm. or you can't manage it better. So first, it's not just about giving the money. It's been training them first, you know, training them in the different and different aspect of fashion and then um, having them also take the business sessions, you know. Then now I'm like, OK, because of the feedback I'm getting, oh, business is hard. You know, we keep investing. It's not easy. Some of them will say, oh, I think I want to stop this. I want to go do the nine to five again so that I can be on basic salary. You know, so from those feedback I have been getting, I'm like, okay, instead of you giving up, because I know entrepreneurship is not easy, but I think it's about the best thing, you know, that can happen to anybody. So I tell them, okay, fine, um, let me support with, you know, um, this 100,000 naira every month and see how, you know, it would help you, it would support you. Now, this is not loan, this is yeah. not, um, I don't need them to give me anything. Even the foundation student that we have trained, like um, Root Signature, the Mamaka Stitches, and Remy Day Signature, they, we have a, a whole lot of them. Now, when they finish, I don't even expect them to come work for me. I don't need anything back, you know, from them. I need them to start. So that I can say, oh, that person finished from this school. Oh, because of me, you know, this person is able to have a stable life. And then you need to hear like the testimonials, like um, Beauty Green. She's a fashion um, academy mm -hmm. student. She, that one of them that owns their own fashion academy. Now she came um, into Lagos, I think, um, two weeks back, and called me and said she wanted to come take, um, she wanted to come do internship because she wants to learn more, and if she could, she should pay something. And I said, no, you just come and learn because at the end of the day, I need you to stand. I need you to grow because. Um, you must not fail. If you mm -hmm. fail, it means I have also failed because I need to make reference to this brand and say, oh, because of, you know, through the school, they're able to start and then, you know, this. So people pay to come to the school? Yes. So there is a fashion academy, GMIT yes. Fashion Academy, and then there's GMIT Foundation. So, so it's the academy is, that is funding the foundation. Yes, yes. Yes. So how so much is the academy? academy? Um, how much is it you get? A, I mean, do the, what do they get? Do you get a certification at the yes, end? Yes, 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 yes. So, so how much is the academy? Um, so we have from 150,000 up. 
because we have um, three months, we have six months, we have nine months, we have 12 months, we have even up to 24 months. Now, oh, I wow. encourage them to, to do minimum six months because the more you stay in school, the more you learn. Mm -hmm. You can't be a fashion designer in, in, in three months. I mean, I've been in business for close to a decade or over a decade now, and I'm still learning. I still take you know sessions with the facilitators in-house, and I, I go for courses, and each time I go, I come back, I structure more. So you never stop learning. So what I do is, even if you pay for three, if you pay for six months, I give you two months free mm -hmm. so that you can stay and learn more. If you pay for nine months, you also get two months free. For the weekend students, if you pay for um, maybe six months as well, you get nine months. I give them three months free. So how, is a to how much is a total of six months? Um, so we have... Um, uh, Mm, so from 150, depend on the program. So okay. So the whole is, program is 150, yeah. not 150 a month. No. So there's there's pattern, there's um, illustration, there's beading, there's art and craft. So for the different programs we have, we have 150, 250, 350. We have up to 750. We even have up to 1.5 million. So, so it how do on people the pay for the program? Uh, they pay because when we have 1.5. They pay because of the structure that we have. You know, we also have like our own fashion show, GMIT African Humanitarian, Humanitarian Award. Is a, is a is an amazing fashion show. Like if you go on our website, you see um, the fashion shows that we've done. You know, and then at the end of the day, these students are not just um, coming out and you know just learning how to cut and sew, but how to create a collection. So for the fashion show, they they, they are graduating as designers and they are empowered. And they are empowered. Them, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So even last last um, last month, I gave out eleven um, industrial machines to the students. You know, and this is something that I'll continue to do. Now, this is not inclusive in their school fees. It's just something, you know, I look at the students, those that need, really need it, back. and then just, just to give back. Mm -hmm. Last year, I told you I gave out 95 industrial machines as well. So I'm not just doing for only the foundation, but, you know, for my students as well. There is um, another lady that I'm so proud of, um, House of Lashe. So we have, like I said, we have students in business. You know, she said, she posted something and said, you know, she got an order, and then um, she wanted to, okay, so this is my design. You know, mm -hmm. the last time I said that I wear only my brand. Mm -hmm. Now, this is something we also teach them how to make um, embellishment, how to play with, you know, accessories and all that. Now, she did something like this um, for a client, and then, you know, she was struggling and said, oh, I wish she has, you know, like the machine that we use at the office, but now she use, she's using a steam iron, and I told her that you just want yourself an, um, a steaming machine. And then, so she's a student, but then she came to school and she picked it up. So giving back to my students, the excitement, you know, it's just when they say, oh, thank you, Ma, they, they, they know that, they know me that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm for them, and, mm -hmm. and there's nothing that can beat that, really. You know, just to support them in any way that I can, you know. Um, and then also mentorship, you know, they call me and say, oh, how do I get designers? How do I, um, uh, how do I manage, you know, people stealing my clients? How do I manage people copying my designs? You know, things like that. So I like the fact that they always look up to me to give them advice and all that. So I'm also trying not to disappoint them. Wow, that's fantastic. <laughs> yes. On that note, we're going to come back to you. We're going to take a quick break. When okay. we come back, we're going to talk to you more about how you're creating jobs. Okay, thank you. I'm not for a short break. Welcome back to the show. We're still with Princess Aganet, who is creating jobs and empowering people. Please tell us more about how many jobs do you think you guys have created in, since you've been around? We've created over 500 jobs. Over 500 jobs. If you go on our website, you will see the brands you know, that have practically started their own businesses that graduated from our school. You know, and they're doing so well. So over 500. And really, we also have mm -hmm. job placements for these people. If yes. they don't want to start their brand, they can actually come. Yeah, because I was going to, I was going to ask. I'm saying, you know, a lot of times we hear where they people are pushed into entrepreneurship, and a lot of times people say, "Go be an entrepreneur. You can make it happen. You really shouldn't work for uh, nine to five. And not everyone is really cut out mm. to be an entrepreneur. So I was a bit curious as to say, if you have people that do come to the school and they you know, say, you know, I want to learn the craft, but they at the same time, I definitely immediate. want to, is the school set up to have yes, programs yes, yes. where there's job placements for them? And who are some of the companies or some of the designer brands or structures that you work with um, to give the, give the students job placement? Um, or how does it work for the job placement? Okay, so the job placement is because we have a lot of students, and mm -hmm. as you know, this project, you know, of training mm -hmm. more foundation students is actually a lot. So, which means I'll be needing more facilitators, you know, to train them. If my the alumni, when they finish, if the the student rather when they graduate, if they say they want to work for me, you know, um, of course I would take them and start paying them. But, but work how? Unfortunately, how do do? Um, yeah. So they will become an instructor. 
Okay. You know, they, they become an instructor and then they start teaching and then we start paying them. Okay. Uh, you know, so it's anything I anything that I cannot manage, you mm -hmm. know, I don't I don't start it. Yeah. So if I say there's job placement, it means I already know there will be structure for that. So just yes. by like paying them. So now I'm not working with any designer to say, oh, if you need students, come and you know, take students because what I am really training my students to become are entrepreneurs to stand for themselves. Okay, so you're very focused yes. on saying if you come here. We want you to be you an will start your business. Yes, okay. yes, you start your business. That's, that's very so, good. So so far, so far, you know, we've not had. Okay, we had just um, just two, you know, students that have also started their businesses, like Siri Black and um, Sisters Creation. They came back, you know, just to do internship um, for two months, but then they're still running their businesses. So mm -hmm. I don't, I don't really keep them, you know. But if they want to stay, yes, then then yes, they can stay. And then we start paying them because we need more hands, actually, with the numbers we're taking. But um, this training, the foundation um, the foundation um, student that we want to do, the 500, I'm actually looking for more students to train. I don't mm. need to know these people, you know. Mm. They should just go on our website, you know, mm. www.gmitefashionacademy.com. You know, they should apply for the foundation training, and it's totally free, so they should come. Mm. I want to I want to train as much as... So when, do you, you know, when does that training train. start? We've started already. Okay, mm. so now you're still looking for more people. Yeah, we're looking for more people to so apply. So 500 people, so if you're at home, home and you're not working and you want to be a fashion designer go to Gmight Fashion Academy yes Gmight Fashion Academy yes to apply to yes, this for program. the foundation foundation program how Fantastic. do you and I want you know I want to know I think what you're doing is commendable it's actually really remarkable Thank that you. a young lady such as yourself had <laughs> yes. decided to take this yes. initiative Thank where we were talking about a situation where government should provide jobs there are a lot of students that are unemployed um, they're looking for ways to kind of get, earn a living, yes. not to go into anything that is going to be um, negative or bad or yes. get into the, the, yes. the bad hands and fall dignified along the work. Yes. People are looking for dignified work. So yes. what do you say or what, what is your view on the fact that government is not doing or is doing enough to kind of help the, the workforce and someone as yourself, as a private citizen, is now um, putting so much into the government cannot do everything mm -hmm. for us. I mean, they are, they are, they are yeah, trying exactly. their best, you know. <laughs> but I think um, it's um, it's good to partner with people like us, mm -hmm. you know, that is do helping them feel. Um, well, I'm not. I'm waiting for them to come. Mm -hmm. You yes. know, so the last time we had this this interview, I told you that you know, let my work speak for me. Mm -hmm. So, like the students that we have, you know, they are the ones going out to say, oh, I finished from the school. I mm -hmm. want you to come. Even the sister's creation, she finished from the school, and now her sister is my is my student. You mm -hmm. know, mother is in the school. She's paying for her daughter to join the school. So it's because of the work that we're doing. So mm -hmm. I, I don't know how to go say, oh, come partner with me or come do this with me. I want to do what I am doing and then let people see my work and say. Okay, Okay, I want to be part of this, you know. So yes, the government is doing what they're doing, but they should come look for me, you know, because I'm actually doing a lot with or without them. I'll continue doing what I am doing, you Fantastic. know, because it's passion for me, really. Um, and also, the GMIT African Humanitarian Award is, the, um, is um, a platform, like I said, that we've created mm -hmm. for them. So they get to showcase their brand on that day. They get yes. to officially launch their brand on that day, and then we have like um, so. I'm sorry, I guess for the well. students, so the launching of the humanitarian yes. and the fashion show. Fashion show. Yes. How many times does that happen? And is, and is that for the students that have been yeah, there for over the a course of 12 months, or is it students that have gone to, through a successful from six training? Months. From, I, I, six, from months. six months up. I try to discourage my students from yes. doing three months. Yes. You know, but from six months, you get two months. So most most times, they do they do like the eight months. So from eight months up, you know, um, they graduate and, and yes, then they, they get showcase. Their showcase. That they, they showcase. Yes, like the like in, uh, in November, they, they showcased the bridal collections. Mm. They made mm. bridal dresses. Like if you see the finishing, you'll be you'll be thrilled. The one um, the project they did yesterday that they mm. showed um, not quite long. It did, most of the students did in less than four months, less than three months, you mm. know. So, but if you do from six months, I'm sure that you can, you know, take up the business and then even manage your team better because we're not just teaching them, you know, how to start making clothes for themselves, but how to, you know, when they have a team, they manage how to also manage the customer. Mm. Next month, we do like different projects. So next month, they're not just going to be making for themselves, they're going to be making for their cosmates, you mm. know, so that they start learning how to, you know, take, uh, take up different body shapes and all that. So they are really going through a lot of training and then when they feel you know, they become better designers. And also working with time, we did a project on um, on speed sewing. So, mm -hmm. you know, so that we, we remove this stigma that we have that um, designers are always disappointing, mm -hmm. um, you know, their, their clients. Mm -hmm. So they did like the speed mm -hmm. sewing and then without supervision, they, so it's like a mini exam. They, they made an outfit, um, that was given to them, you know, by the facilitators under um, five, six hours. Mm -hmm. you know, let me, let me ask you this. Do you feel, because I mean, from conversations that I've had with a lot of designers over the couple of years, a lot of designers, it is 
usually the workforce that many Nigerian designers have an issue with. And I know you're doing a great, a great job, and your thing is to really push entrepreneurs. But do you feel that there could be some sort of connection or some sort of placement done within what, what you do to kind of connect designers who are in need of good hands or in need of people to come and aid what they're doing already? So like yes. pattern cutters and um, proper tailors or people that can actually help and aid their business and also grow the industry in that aspect. Yes, yeah, so we had, um, that last year, we had some designers um, sent, uh, they sent a mail, you know, that um, I think they were launching their brand. Mm -hmm. There was a bridal um, company, actually, that said she was launching her brand, mm -hmm. and she needed some students to come, you know, work for her because she's seen her jobs and all that. Okay. And then I, you know, of course, we have, like, a, a group where mm -hmm. we communicate. We have an alumni group and a student okay. group. You know, so I sent the proposal to the group, but the students were not interested. Like I said, I'm building them to... Stand. Be yes, <laughs> be so yeah. they're not really interested. But then, yes, the platform is open. I mean, mm -hmm. they are they're coming out fresh. So it, the designers that need your service can mm -hmm. and can designers come can also send really. their team, their staff yes. to come to you to get training. Yes, um, yes, to, yes, to yes. yes. They can come. come. Yes, they can come. I mean, they will structure better. They will learn better finishing. Mm -hmm. They will learn um, different. You know, like the pattern cutting. Mm -hmm. Most people think that fashion is just basic. You know, yes. pattern is, pa fashion is it's actually very intense, it's very intense <laughs> and it's broad. I mean, you can be a stylist. You know, and be making money. Can go into just best book tailoring and be mm -hmm. making money, hot couture, be making money. You know, you can even, like I said, own a fashion academy mm -hmm. and also be making money. So it's left for you to now define your strength and then carve a niche for yourself. Mm -hmm. Do I want to go into ready to wear? Do I want to just make shirts? Mm -hmm. You know, if I if they want beautiful shirts, you know, can I deliver just shirts? You know, you don't have to say you're doing bridal, or you're doing everything or mm -hmm. children's wear. You need to know what you you know your strength and then carve a niche for yourself. And mm -hmm. that's what we're teaching the students actually. Okay. Princess, it's yeah. always yeah. nice. To have yeah, you on the show. You. Congratulations to thank everything, you. and I wish um, those people that are, are, are applying that they reach out. To yes, you. they should come. I mean, we can. We we have the capacity to take as much Wonderful. as we can. Yes, they should apply. Good thank you so much. Thank you. Thank well you. Thank it's you. time now for a short break. When we return, Charles Onwaku, Arise News analyst and producer, will be joining us to review the top newspaper headlines from across the country. So stay with us.